Hey everybody, welcome to my video, Introduction to Exponents. And exponents are those little numbers that are on top of usually another given number. And before I get started, I want to go over some terminology that you're going to have to know when you're dealing with exponents. And the first term I want to go over is square. Whenever you square a number, that means that there is a two exponent. So let's say, for example, that we had the number one squared. That means we have the number one with a two exponent. Another way you could say this is one raised to the second power, or one squared is the more commonly used term for this. And whenever you have a two exponent, that means that you multiply the number by itself two times. So one squared is one multiplied by itself two times. One times one is equal to one. 1 squared is equal to 1. Uh, let's go over another example. Let's say we had 2 squared. That means we multiply the number 2 by itself 2 times. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 2 squared is equal to 4. Um, let's go over a negative number. Um, let's say we had negative 3 squared. Negative 3 squared is negative 3 multiplied by itself two times. Negative three times negative three is a positive nine. A negative times a negative gives you a positive number. Um, let's say we had a negative outside of the parentheses. Let's say we had negative four squared. That means we're, we're, we have a positive four squared. So, we're, so we have a positive four multiplied by itself two times and we have a negative in front of the parentheses. So positive 4 times positive 4 is equal to, to 16, and we have a negative in front. So we also need to put the negative in front of the 16. Um, so, so negative outside the parentheses times a positive 4 squared is equal to negative 16. All right, so I think you get the idea on squaring a number. So now let's go over the second term uh, that you're going to see a lot whenever you're dealing with exponents, uh, which is cube. Whenever you cube a number, that means there is a 3 in the exponent. So let's say we had the number 1 cubed. That means there's a 3 in the exponent. Or you could say 1 raised to the 3 third power. Sorry, 1 raised to the third power. And if there's a 3 in the exponent, that means you need to multiply the number by itself 3 times. So 1 times 1 times 1 is going to be equal to 1. 1 cubed is equal to 1. Uh, let's say we had 2 cubed. That means we need to multiply the number 2 by itself 3 times. So we have 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So 2 cubed is equal to 8. Um, let's go over a negative number. Let's say we have, let's say we have negative 3 cubed. That means we need to take the number negative 3 and multiply it by itself three times. Negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. A negative 3 times a negative 3 is going to give us a positive 9. And a positive 9 times a negative 3 is going to give us a negative 27. So negative 3 cubed is going to give us a negative 27 answer. I think that gives us a good idea on how you square a number or how you cube um, a number. Uh, let's go over let's go over another example. Let's say we had a four in our exponent. Let's say we had the number uh, two to the fourth power. That means you need to multiply the number two by itself four times. Two times two times two times two. So if you multiply two times two is equal to four. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. So 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. All right, uh, so I hope you get the idea on exponents. Uh, let's go over a couple more examples that might confuse you a little bit, and that's when you have a 0 as an exponent. Let's say we had 3 raised with a 0 exponent. Anytime you see a zero in the exponent, the answer is always going to be one. 
So 3 to the 0 is equal to 1. Uh, let's say we had the number 1,000 with a 0 exponent. 1,000 raised to the 0 power is equal to 1. Uh, let's say we had a negative 5,000 with a 0 in the exponent. That is also equal to positive 1. Anything with a 0 in the exponent is going to be equal to 1. I think you get the idea of that by now. Um, let's say you have the number 1 as the exponent. Let's say we had the number 5 raised to the first power. Uh, the 1 exponent is completely unnecessary. Basically what you're saying is that you have the number 5 and you're multiplying it one time. So 5 to the first power is equal to 5. Is the, the 1 exponent is, is completely um, unnecessary as you can see from this example but it, sometimes it's a little confusing for, for some people and and I hope this gave you a better idea on, on how you deal with exponents. In my next video I'm going to go over negative exponents and exponents uh, on top of fractions so stay tuned for that. I really hope you're enjoying these and I will see you in my next one.